and then we're gonna make another list that has all the tickers that you're able to pull data from. Okay, so strap on your seatbelt. What's good fam, it's your other brother Adam, Get Bags. We got a fun finance video for today. We're gonna be importing stock data into Python using the Yahoo Fin library. And then we're also gonna be validating that list of tickers from the previous video. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we have installed the Yahoo Fin library. So you can check your environment. So open up Anaconda Navigator. You can check your environment here. We're using the base environment. Open up your command line and then hit install yahoo underscore fin and then that's going to run confirm the installation if you go here to environments you can select your environment and confirm that the package is downloaded so then you just scroll down here and then you'll find the yahoo fin library right there okay great so then go ahead and open spider up easy so you just want to import yahoo fin doc info as si and then you can assign a temp temporary variable here and call it. get data you can specify a start date just as easy as that but we're gonna want to do something a little more complex we're gonna make another list that has all the tickers that you're able to pull data from okay so strap on your seatbelt all right first thing we're gonna want to do is import all of our modules and then there's a couple of exceptions that we're gonna have to handle so we're gonna want to import those errors. Next we want to define a function that we're going to use to validate the tickers. Well, first thing we want to do here is we want to create an empty list that we're going to use to store all of our tickers. Next what we want to do is we want to load um, all of our tickers from the Excel file. Okay, and very important, you wanna make sure that your Excel file is inside of your working directory. So, you don't have to specify the whole path in this um, call right here. Okay. Next, we wanna create a series um, with, with only the tickers inside of it. Looks like it's good to go. What we're going to want to do next is we're going to want to create a for loop that's going to loop through all of the tickers and try to request data for them. If there's data, then we're going to save that ticker into the empty list. That's going to be our validated tickers list. Okay, if you want to do all the tickers, you can leave it just like this, or you can go like this. But I just want the first 10 tickers. And I also um, like to throttle um, this, the speed of the program. So I'll add a sleep. Uh, this way you don't get like um, temporarily banned from requesting data for sending too many requests. Um, I'm not sure what the limits are. The program runs fairly quick without it. have try block because we're going to encounter many exceptions when we're trying to write this program. Uh, 
there's our first assertion error. Um, so if Yahoo doesn't have that ticker, then that's the error that's going to get thrown. Um, so then there's three more that we're going to want to account for. Okay, now for the get address information error, um, let's see, we want to um, try again, but we're going to sleep for five minutes. Okay, and the last exception is going to be the JSON decode error. Alright, so now that all of the exceptions are in place, we should be able to just go ahead and save our list um, to a data frame or series and then save that into an Excel file and then we'll have a finalized list of all of our tickers. All right, and lastly, we just wanna add some timers so that we know how long this all takes. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove the, um, the throttle just so we can quickly run through this and see if it goes. Excel file here that is saved and then we'll see looks like we have our validated tickers here and it looks like those 10 right in two and a half seconds uh, when I ran it with the one second sleep time it took three and a half hours to run all 11,000 um, so it could finish in less than an hour for sure but we might get banned from temporarily you know banned from requests so that's why I like to use the throttle. But that's how it's done. Let's go ahead and get some bags.